Welcome back to my channel Tech for Today. This will be my second video from Microsoft Defender for Cloud App Series. In my last video, I had given an overview of MDCA where we started our discussion with Gatsby. We saw the different pillars in which MDCA protects your environment. We also spoke about shared IT. In this video, we will start a discussion by seeing the difference between Defender for Cloud Apps and Office 365 Cloud App Security. We will see the license and the portal for MDCA. We will also see the roles and permissions required to manage MDCA. Now, the understanding of the difference between MDCA and Office 365 Cloud App Security is required, especially when you are planning to purchase the license for your enterprise. In my first video of this series, I had given an overview of Defender for Cloud Apps. For the people who are new to this channel, Defender for Cloud Apps is a CASP solution offered by Microsoft, which helps in bringing deep visibility, strong data security, and threat protection to your cloud apps. With the service, you can gain visibility into a shadow IT by discovering all cloud apps used by your users in your organization, which is one of the use cases of CASB. Which means that as an IT admin, MDCA will help you in discovering all the cloud applications used by your employees. This also checks whether the apps discovered by your shadow IT meet relevant compliance requirements including regulatory compliance and industry standard. And based on the risk score, you can either sanction or unsanction your applications. You can even control and protect the data in the apps once you sanction them to your enterprise. Now, Office 365 Cloud App Security is a subset of MDCA and this gives enhanced visibility and control for O365 apps. O365 Cloud App Security has access to all the features of Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps like Cloud Discovery, Data Loss Prevention, Support, Threat Detection, but all these features, as the name suggests, it supports only Office 365 apps only. And this supports over 750 plus cloud apps, which has a similar functionality to Office 365. This, this uses the same portal as MDCA and, and this is bundled with the Office 365 e5 subscription. Uh, unlike MDCA, Office 365 cloud apps support only manual log upload for cloud discovery. If you remember from the first video, MDCA supports automatic log upload, manual log upload, and native integration with Defender for Endpoint are the deployment methods used, used in MDCA for cloud discovery. Now to access MDCA portal, you can go to https portal.cloudappsecurity.com. Now if I talk about the license, you must obtain a license for every user protected by uh, Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. And since uh, MDC is a security tool, it doesn't require an Office 365 productivity suite license separately. So this comes with uh, different, uh, different licenses. This also comes with a standalone license. And uh, MDCA can be combined with Enterprise Mobility Security E3, that is EMS E3. So this combination with EMS E3 extend the capability of Microsoft Cloud App Security to include conditional access app control also, which is a reverse proxy capability. And what this helps exactly is for real-time session controls and automatic data classification and labeling. And with the EMS E3, you only get Cloud App Discovery, remaining advanced features like uh, data protection, or session policies, file policies, these will not be available with the EMS E3. I'll repeat once again, this, this only helps in cloud app discovery alone. It All the remaining advanced feature which comes with MDCA, it does not include it if you are purchasing this EMS E3 license. And MDCA as a whole suit, it comes with uh, M M Microsoft 365 E5, uh, M365 security, and compliance and also enterprise mobility security E5 suit.
Next to set up Defender for Cloud Apps, you must be a global admin or a security admin in Azure AD or uh, Office 365. So if you are a global admin or a security admin in O365 or Azure AD, you will have full access to Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps portal. And remaining permissions, one is Cloud App Security Administrator. This also will have full access and permission in the Defender for Cloud Apps. And Compliance Administrator, it, it has only read access permission and can manage a lot. This can't access security recommendations for the cloud platform. And uh, other permission is Compliance Data Administrator, which has only read permission in the portal. This also can create, modify file policy, allow file governance action, and view all discovery reports. But this can't access security recommendations for cloud platform. So apart from this, security operator and security reader role is there, where security operator, uh, it has only read permission and can manage alerts. And security reader, it has only read permission but, but they are restricted to do any activities, any activities, activities which are related to uh, the features which comes as part of Microsoft Defender for Cloud Apps. So the roles, all the roles which are mentioned in this slide, they are uh, Office 365 and Azure roles with which you can access, you will get access to Defender for Cloud Apps, which means that these are admin permissions which can be enabled from either Azure AD portal or from the Office 365 portal. Now, next is the built-in admin roles in Defender for Cloud Apps. So apart from the roles which are available in your Azure portal, there are some built-in roles which are available in the MDCA portal. So it has a global admin which will have full access like the Azure AD global administrator but it is restricted only for the Defender for Cloud Apps. So what I mean by this, in the Defender for Cloud Apps portal itself, you have a separate built-in roles but which are not like the one which, you are, which is there in the Azure AD portal. Here what you can do, you will have the full permi permission for the MDCA portal. But it is unlike Azure AD uh, role, this will have permission only for your MDCA portal. This are the separate built-in role uh, in the MDCA portal. Not This is not as same as the one which we are seeing in the Azure AD console. It also has a compliance administrator and it also has a security reader, security or operator which grants the same permission as the Azure AD but it is only for the Defender for Cloud Apps and there are some additional permissions also App Instance Admin, User Group Admin, Cloud Discovery Global Admin, Cloud Discovery Port Admin so all these roles in detail we will see in our next video when we will when I will walk you through the portal. Now uh, so as I said before the previous role, what we were seeing, it was from the Azure portal and these are from the Defender for Cloud Apps where you can go to the settings block and the manage admin access where it will take you through this page where you can add the user and you can select which permissions required and based on this you can assign the permission to the users. Again, these are just the screenshots which I have taken from the portal. In the next video, I will when I walk you through the portal, I will show you each role one by one so that it makes a lot of sense rather than seeing the screenshots. So quickly to sum up, we have seen uh, the difference between Defender for Cloud Apps and Office 365 Cloud App Security. We have also discussed about the different licenses which are required to leverage the feature of MDCA. We also saw which uh, are the different roles and permissions which are required to manage the MDCA. In the next video, I will walk you through the portal for all the admins, admin settings in the MDCA portal. Thank you so much for watching the video. Bye-bye.